The state government's 4% unemployment target is still a long way off, according to the latest monthly figures. The number of part-time jobs continues to rise, but full-time positions are dwindling. Here's state political reporter Chris O'Brien. On ABC Radio, the Premier was keen to talk up his government's achievements. Let's get into it. He's especially proud of improvements in health and law and order. OK, in just over two years, we've basically achieved what I'd say is about 10 years' worth of reform. But he acknowledges making enemies along the way. That's what happens when you undertake reform and renewal. But I think the results speak for themselves. The results include 14 consecutive months of employment growth, despite the 6.3% unemployment rate. I think the figure that excites me is, is the fact that uh, more than half the jobs that have been created in Australia have been created in Queensland. Labor will set its own job creation target, but it won't say what unemployment rate it would aim for. Now that's something that we're going to be giving some serious consideration to, but one thing we will do is we will make sure that it is lower than this current government. The next event on the agenda for the Premier is the LNP's annual convention starting tomorrow. And, as usual, there's a colourful assortment of resolutions up for debate. LNP members have proposed scrapping five-cent coins and legalising pepper spray for self-defence and that all the eastern states put their clocks forward by half an hour all year. Some of those ideas uh, are, are go further, some of them just make entertaining debate. The Prime Minister will address the convention on Saturday. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.